Can you shield an electric guitar pickup from electromagnetic interference? The answer is yes, and it's really easy to do. Hi, I'm Chris at Highline Guitars, and you're watching another one of my YouTube guitar building videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that by the end of this video, I'll have earned the honor and privilege of your subscription. Okay, so before I explain how you can shield your pickups, let me back up a little bit and talk about what shielding actually is. As you probably already know, and I'm assuming a lot of you watching this video uh, play guitar or repair guitars or build guitars, and you probably are well aware of the fact that electric guitars can be susceptible to electromagnetic interference. Now what that is, it's noise that is generated by pretty much any kind of electric circuit. So the lights overhead, computers, heating and air conditioning systems, cell phones, um, any sort of electrical component can generate that noise. And guitars can pick up that, that interference and incorporate it into the outgoing signal. So the electromagnetic interference is absorbed into the circuit. It goes out the cable and to your amplifier. And then the amplifier amplifies the signal and along with it, it amplifies the noise. And so what you hear is a hum or a buzz that accompanies the sound of your guitar. And it can be really annoying. And in fact, in some situations, depending on the electronics that you're surrounded with, it can be really bad, almost to the point where it becomes difficult to play the guitar and hear the music the way it was intended. And this is especially a problem if you're in a studio and your guitar is picking up all sorts of electromagnetic interference and it's inhibiting your ability to record the guitar. Well, we have ways of dealing with this and it's essentially called shielding. And typically the most common shielding that we do is to line the control cavity with shielding material. In this case, I'm using copper foil shielding and I have shielded all the surfaces on the inside of the cavity so that the components are gonna be completely surrounded with that copper foil. Now you can also use shielding paint as well. It's basically just paint that includes ingredients that make it conductive. So by using the shielding and then connecting a ground wire from the ground lug on the jack to either the shielding directly or to one of the components like the pot or the switch. And as long as that switch or that pot is in contact with the shielding, the shielding becomes grounded. And with the, the control cavity cover, the back of it is also shielded as well. And that shielding comes in contact with the shielding in the, in the control cavity so that these components are completely surrounded with a grounded copper shielding. And what that does is it prevents the electromagnetic interference from entering into the cavity and getting into the components and thereby becoming part of the signal. But obviously there's a question that comes up and that is, can you shield your pickups? Because the pickups are exposed here on the front of the guitar and they are essentially antennas for that electromagnetic interference. So can they be shielded? Can you encompass them into a shielded container? Now we call this container a Faraday shield. Now there's also the term Faraday cage. Those are, uh, the two terms are basically for the same thing. They do the same thing, but they do it in a slightly different way. A Faraday cage is really designed to protect large, high-powered components from electromagnetic interference. Whereas with smaller, uh, weaker uh, circuits, you need to have more of a continuous surface that completely encompasses the component to protect it from the electromagnetic interference. The weaker the uh, circuit is, the smaller the holes in the shielding have to be in order to prevent electromagnetic uh, interference from getting into those components. So with an electric guitar, because the signal is so weak, you end up having to have just a solid shield. 
so we use a Faraday shield. Now it is possible to encompass a guitar pickup into a Faraday shield. Uh, let me give you an example, and this is probably the easiest example, and that is with a humbucker pickup. With a humbucker pickup, you have a base plate that is made out of metal. It's usually either brass or nickel silver. The wiring that comes out of the pickup normally will include a grounded shield wire. That grounded shield wire is soldered to the base plate, thereby grounding the base plate. So you have uh, started the process of creating a Faraday shield if you have the grounded base plate. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, I would encourage you to click the thumbs up button down below. Do it right now. It's a great way to show my channel support and it doesn't cost you anything. But if you'd like to take your support to the next level, you can visit my eGuitar Plans web store or my Highland Guitars merch store. There's links in the description below. And any purchase you make there is going to help support this channel so that I can keep making guitar building videos and sharing my knowledge and experience with you. You can also click the thanks button down below and leave a tip in the amount that you think is fair. But if you want to get the most out of my channel, I would encourage you to click the join button down below and consider becoming a member. As a member, you're going to have access to videos just like the one you're watching, but with a lot more information and detail, and best of all, no ads. Now let's get back to the video. The next part of the shielding is the cover. In this case, the cover is made out of nickel silver. Now typically covers are, can be made out of either plastic or nickel silver or brass. For creating a, nickel, uh, a, a Faraday shield, you're going to want to use a metal cover. So it's got to be either nickel, silver, or brass. And by installing the shield and then soldering the uh, shield to the base plate, you've created a Faraday shield. And the pickup is completely encompassed in that shield. Now, if you've got a plastic cover, you could still do it, but what you would need to do is line the inside of the plastic cover with copper foil shielding tape. And then you would need to make sure that that shielding tape comes in contact with the grounded metal base plate. In which case, if you do that, you have a uh, Faraday shield surrounding your pickup. Now, some of you watching this are going to say, yeah, but what about these holes in the cover? Isn't that going to allow electromagnetic interference to get into the pickup? Well, it could, but it actually doesn't because the screws, these adjustable pole screws, they're grounded. They're in contact with both the base plate as well as the magnet, which is also touching the base plate. So the screws are grounded. And because they are uh, plugging those holes, there's really not enough space there to allow that electromagnetic interference to get through the grounded shield. Uh, any attempts by the electromagnetic interference to get through there is gonna be pulled into the grounded cover or those grounded screws, and it's not gonna get into the coil itself. So you don't really have to worry about it. But if you're concerned that it is going to cause an issue, you can also purchase no hole covers and use that instead in which case you would have a 100% enclosure that wouldn't allow for the electromagnetic interference to get into the coils and then go out through the, the hookup wire and through your controls and out to your amplifier. Now, in the case of other types of pickups, like single coil pickups, um, with P90s, you have a metal base plate, but you usually have a plastic cover. So you would have to cover the inside of that plastic cover with... Uh, copper foil shielding and make sure that that shielding comes in contact with the, the grounded base plate. But with pickups like single coils, you usually have a plastic cover. You can do the same thing. You can line the inside of the plastic cover with copper foil shielding. You can then run a strip of copper foil shielding on the back of the pickup's base. You just want to make sure that that copper foil shielding contacts the ground side of the wire connection, but it should not contact the signal side. If it does, the pickup won't work. So you need to allow for some clearance around just the signal wire, but then you need to make sure that the copper foil is touching the ground wire side. And then what happens is you've created a grounded base plate and then a grounded uh, shielded cover 
And that's going to create the Faraday shield, which is going to prevent the electromagnetic interference from getting through. Now, again, you have your, your pole pieces, which are visible. They come up through the, the cover. However, because you're running that copper foil shielding across the back, it's in contact with those slugs and it grounds the slugs. So there's no way that electromagnetic interference is going to be able to get into the coil and then out through the hookup wire and to your amplifier. So as you can see, it, it isn't difficult to create a complete Faraday shield around just about any kind of electric guitar pickup. But in the end, you've got to ask yourself, is it really necessary to do that? And I think in many situations, it really isn't that necessary. Um, as long as the electronics that you're surrounded by are properly grounded and your power source for your amplifier is properly grounded, you're probably not going to have that much of an issue with electromagnetic interference getting into your guitar. But if you're a touring musician and you're playing in a lot of different venues and you're facing a crowd of people with all their electronic devices, it's probably not a bad idea to do some form of shielding, uh, especially with your controls, and then to make sure that all your wiring that you're using is shielded wiring and that everything is properly grounded. You should be okay. Going that extra step to shield your pickups, it's a nice bit of insurance, but it isn't absolutely necessary. And it's important to know that anything that you do to the, your pickups is going to affect the way they sound. By encompassing a humbucker pickup in a complete Faraday shield will affect the sound. It's gonna sound different than the humbucker when it wasn't covered. So just be aware of that. And you may want to kind of experiment to see if you're okay with that, if you're really intent on shielding your pickups. So in conclusion, yes, you can shield your pickups. It's not that difficult to do, and it can be very effective. Whether you need to do it, that's up to you. At any rate, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. That always helps this channel. And of course, if you want to take your support to the next level, you can do some of the things I mentioned earlier. You can visit my eGuitar Plans web store, the Highland Guitars merch store. There's links in the description. You can click the thanks button, leave a tip in the amount that you think is fair. You can also click the join button and watch videos just like this one, but with no ads and a lot more detail. So until the next episode, as always, take care, stay safe, and I hope you'll be back for more guitar building videos.